Can I see that? Hello, my darling Amanda. How are you doing? Amanda, I need a word with you. You didn't share again. I went on you all, even just 10 minutes ago, and you didn't share. If you don't share, I can't put you in the bloody thing, can I? So you can't win the giveaway. <coughs> Hi, Jay. I'm just telling Amanda off. She didn't share the video on a wall on Facebook. She's a bug of lugs. So I can't put her in to win. I even wrote her name down and then she didn't share it. Slap twist Amanda. No, it's not on your wall, baby. I don't know where you shared it to. It didn't even tell me you shared. I checked every video. It's too late to do it now, Jane. She can go in today's if she shares today's. Where did you share it to, Amanda? It's actually went on your wall, babe. Because it hasn't even got it on. Where did you share it from? Hi, Ollie. Right, okay. Let me just double check for you. So if that's the case, I'll put your name back in. Because as it's turned out, I've been that busy this morning. I um, haven't done the random yet. So that's fine. Because I can do the random on my phone. Let me just check. Edge Witch. Yep, I've got it. Brilliant. Sorted. Yep, you're back in then, Amanda. Um, don't think Ness will be happy with you sharing it into her group, though. So if you just pop it on your wall. Hi, Tina. Yeah, I've just seen it, Amanda. See you in. Right. OK, brilliant. Right, let's do random on here then. It's like I say, I haven't even done random. I haven't done it yet. I've been that busy this morning. And I'll explain what I've been busy doing in a moment. I've been so good. Um, what am I looking for? Random. There it is. Right, now. I'm just going to put numbers down. So I've got numbers one to nine. One, two. Drop that out. Nine, and then if we generate right one to nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's correct. Yep, generate the result is number six, and that is Janet K. And I'll just show you all this time so you can all see it. Number six is the number, and you were so close, Amanda, as well, because Amanda was number seven. So it's number six, number six. Okay. There you go. That's just to show you. So Janet Kay's won the papers. But Amanda was still in it anyway. I didn't take her out. Right, so there you go. Um, now I can take that off. Right, so we've done that. No, the reason I've been busy this morning, anyway, who else we got? Sorry. Hiya, Jay. Kez, hello, my darling. Ellie, hello. Right, Ellie, I'm, I'm sorting out all mix-ups and my head's in a really weird, weird place. I'm sorting out mix-ups today. Ellie and Tina. Hi, Tina. Now, Ellie, by all... Oh, okay, Amanda, sorted. I just didn't know whether she'd... Not be happy about it. That was all sweet. Right. 
Ellie and Tina. Ellie, when you got the napkins, you should have had your name on a little piece of paper between two of the napkins. So one set was yours and one set was Tina's. Janet, you want again? You want all the papers? <laughs> I just showed it on the random org. If you just want to back up the video, you'll see. I just did the random here and now and showed the two. Yeah. So, Ellie, if you look in, did you see your name on a little piece of paper or Tina's name on a little piece of paper? One or the other. So did you see though that there was and there was duplicates on certain ones or because one of you wanted the flowers and the other one of you wanted the butterflies. I think Tina wanted the butterflies and you wanted florals. That's how that's why you got both of them. Because one set was for Tina and one set was for you, Ellie. Excellent. Because Tina didn't think she got her napkins, but you I put them in the one because I think that's what we'd arranged. Anyway, so that was that sorted. So that's that done, so that's good. All right. Now, the reason why I haven't sorted out, I could if I've tried, but I've got anything to hand. The reason why I haven't actually, well, you're going to have to find them because they're Tina's, not all yours. Oh, bless you. Um, the reason why is because I've started sorting out the kits for the Tracy cards. And I've been sorting out all the papers. And that's no fun. It is fun, but it's no. And I've got Tracy cards so far, just the paperwork, just the papers. We have got one, two, three, four, five. I've got seven lots of papers done already. I know, Jay, <laughs> headache, but it's why well. I've just took tramadol. Yeah, tramadol. I've just took tramadol. Oh, because I don't want to do the same. I never, ever make two cards the same unless they're invites, obviously. Even when it comes down. Oh, Tina. That's a job and a half, babe. But I never make two cards the same anyway. So all the papers are totally different. Now, when it comes to the kids, like I've said to you ladies before, I'm afraid... I will say to you, do you want a certain colour ways? I'm not going to say, here's this one, here's this one, here's this one, here's this one. It'll go on the, maybe the colour of the paper or the colour of the flower. Because otherwise we're going to get so confused and you're going to say, oh, can I have that one? And if two or three of you want the same one, it's going to get very awkward. So it's just going to be a case of... Somebody will say, can I have a Tracy card? And I'm just going to go, that card's yours. Thanks, my darling. Much appreciated. So that's how I'm going to do it. So if you're happy with that, all really good. If you're not happy with that, then um, uh, this sounds blunt. And it really doesn't. I don't mean to be blunt. Yeah, exactly, Oliver. It's going to be a lucky dip. And if you're not happy with that, then please don't say, can I have a Tracy card? Because otherwise, it's going to be too much of a headache for me. And you or I don't need that. All right. I mean, they are gorgeous papers. They're not cheap papers. They are... Um, I think they are anyway. I mean, we're talking... This is, this is just the papers, by the way. Okay. So, you're looking at papers like this in them i mean that's your base card you've got your card i'm putting your card in obviously this is just the paper then you've got this paper then you've got this paper this is just one of the cards and then you've got this paper and that's foiled and embossed there as well so that's just three that's just three pieces plus i'm putting in you'll have all these extra bits you'll have the lace you'll have the brass pieces you'll have the chipboard you'll have the flowers you'll have the 
Oh, the fuck? I haven't got any purple papers. I haven't done a per... You don't... You see, this is the thing, Amanda. Um, I don't actually do purple backings. You might have a purple flower. But I don't actually do the purple pa papers, Amanda. Um, that's the thing. I mean, <coughs> there's, you see, most of the cards are like creams. Um, the closest one, <coughs> I mean, like, there's a, what I call a winter colour in there. That's beautiful, that one is. I love that one. Then you've got, um, I've done a couple of Christmas ones. So you'll have like the Christmas, um, the Merry Christmas wooden writing. Then I've done like um, the pinks uh, for a birthday or an anniversary. Then there's like a Christmas one. That's extra paper because I just love the paper and I thought, well, you might want to play around with it. And that's got like the Christmas ribbon paper. And then there's a beautiful Christmas backing paper. Um, these are all cards I would ha happily make myself. They're not what I call, as crude as it sounds, crap paper. Oh, didn't I do it? Oh, Janet, thank you. See, I'm terrible. Janet, I still forgot to sing. I mean, this Christmas one is gorgeous. The, the cards that, the, the bases that, are, the cards I'm making up for the Lucky Dip. I'm going to call it the Lucky Dip. Thank you, Amanda. That's, I appreciate that. I know. I'm so sorry. Um, Ellie, thank you, darling. That would, I would appreciate. Right, Ellie, you've got, Ellie, you've got a new job. Ellie is now my secretary. <laughs> um, I know. Yeah, I've got age as my excuse as well. I'm not. I'm not young anymore. Yeah. See, Ellie, Ellie Sykes is now my secretary. I mean, I'll be honest. Hand on my heart, wherever it is, because I know. It's, well, it's in this facility somewhere. I'm not being informed recently i've got a big art aka cardiomyopathy or something like that. so anyway but i've got a big art don't you know that's you too my darling right so pays not a kick up the arse that's what the pay is um yeah all the cards all the lucky dip cards that i'm making i can assure you hand on my heart I would quite happily make myself. I will not give you something I would not make myself, that I would not be proud to put my name to. If it's not good enough for me to do, then it's not good enough for you to do. Straight up, end of. If I would not put my name to it, then I would not expect you to put your name to it. It's as simple as that. Okay, that's, that's it, end of. If I'm not going to put my name to it, you're not going to put your name to it. It's, it's as easy as that. Because if it's not good enough for me, it's not good enough for you. Then straight up, look at this one. Right, so you've got the card base, as you know. Then that's your base layer, which is quite simple. But then I've put this gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, look, you can see the actual embossing on there. Now, don't forget, you're going to be tearing down the edges here and here, all around the edges, okay? Then you're going to be tearing this one. I mean, look at that. And that's foiled. Yeah, can you see the foiling? But then on this one, I've actually put another piece in because that's going to be your crossbar. And again, you're going to be tearing that. But even that's got a tiny bit of embossing on it. And then I'll put this in and you'll have your lace. Do you know what I mean? They're just absolutely stunning. So, I mean, this is just the start of it. This is just the papers. We're not even getting into the embellishments yet. We're not getting into, I mean, look, just to remind you. So that's just the paper side of things. 
Now, I've spent, I think, close to, and I'm not exaggerating, three and a half hours, possibly four hours today, just sorting out the papers for seven of these lucky dips. So whatever doesn't go, I'll be doing. That's what I'm saying. So, <clears throat> we've still got to do the, right, let's get, there we go. We've still got to do the netting. We've got to do the die cuts. We've got to do a chipboard here. We've got to do chipboard or brass there. We've got to do the lace. We've got to do the flowers. We've got to do the dew drops. <coughs> Excuse me. That's your three layers of card I've done. So your base card, your second layer, and your third layer. Yeah. You've got more embellishments there. You've got more embellishments here. Now, if you look here, let me work it out so you can see. You've got the stamens here coming out. Okay. You've got more lace up here. And you've got lace down here. You've got chipboard there, chipboard there. Now, on this one, we haven't got it. We've got a piece of chipboard here behind the flowers. Now, on yours, you're also going to have word in here. Or, yeah, it is ripping times. You can have a piece that you can have word in here or up here, wherever you want to put it. Okay. You, I mean, now, if you want to make, now, you can turn the word in. You can turn this and this in black. All right. The choice is yours. Absolutely, the choice is yours. I mean, this is only a guide. This is just to show you what what we call a Tracy card. This is just one of them. I've got another one somewhere, and I can't remember where it is. And there's the truth. Trying to start sitting right behind me. Let me see quickly. Oh. May it's really not in the right space. Yeah, it is. It's here. Got it. I thought it was behind me. There we go. Now I'd put lace on this. You know the applique lace? I've also put, um, name my word, I've um, inked. I've put applique lace on it. I've put a little bit of string on it. Why not? I've put some uh, pearl string on it. Why not? I've just done um, an embellishment uh, topper on it. But I've hidden it all just so you can see, but all you can see is the edge. I've changed it up just a little bit. But look, now you see how different that one is. We've still got the bride and groom. There's the wording, which I've, it was either inked or um, painted, I can't remember. There's the lace flower. I've got some more lace applique up here. There's the pearl um, string. There's the regular string there. This is one of those toppers. It's only a cheap topper, but it makes it look really, really expensive. Because I've hidden the picture with the flowers. Yeah? But as a wedding card, absolutely stunning. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, ladies. Much appreciated. But you see, that's another what we call Tracy card. And this is what you guys are going to be making. All right. They look complicated. Yeah, they can be. But I mean, so we're going to have the netting on. Again, it's three layers of paper. But it's all in stages and it's how you put it. Now, that one hasn't got any chipboard as such. The only chipboard that's got on it, or the MDF, is the bride and groom. So you don't have to put, I'm going to give you the MDF. I'm going to give you the chipboard. I'm going to give you the wording. I'm going to give you the flowers. I'm going to give you the, um, I'll give you some string. I'll give you some pearls. I'll give you the uh, dew drops. But that doesn't, doesn't mean, but she contacted you already. So she's, I've got a really good secretary with me. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to give you everything that you need. But it doesn't mean you have to throw everything at the card. All right. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes 
the less you put on it, the better it looks. So don't throw everything that I give you in the lucky dip at the card. Chances are you'll be able to make two cards out of the one. Tell her, no, don't tell her because I'm not allowed to swear on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell her tell her she's on a permanent holiday she lives in Devon what more does she want time for a slurp anyway so yeah tell you what it's not going to be a mystery after all what I will do Blue one seemed to be the one everybody really, really liked, wasn't it? Okay, today's prize. If you all really, really like it, I'll give that one away as today's prize. All right. <clears throat> if you're all up for it, give. Let me know if that's what you'd like as today's prize. And then, if any of you've got a wedding coming up, no, we'll go on better actually. Kez, shut up. Kez, no, I don't think so. Shh, Kez, I'll tell you what I'll do. <clears throat> whoever wins today's, whoever we pull out of random, let's pull out the out, you know what I mean. No, I'll tell you what we'll do. No, 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 forget that, forget that. No, you're not having that. No, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Today's mystery prize is no longer a mystery. I will make whoever wins today's tomorrow, if you know what I mean. I'll do you a Tracy card, but it'd be a birthday in the in um, the genre of a birthday. I'll do you a birthday card tomorrow. I won't make it tomorrow, but I'll make you a birthday card in the design of a Tracy card. All right. So that's yeah. That's that's the prize. It's a birthday Tracy card. Tracy birthday card. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean. Yeah, that's it. So that way, then you're not beholden to a wedding card because nobody's getting because you can't do weddings at the moment. So yeah, but birthdays you can, which means you can still send them a nice birthday card. So I'll make you a choice of birthday card. There you go, sorted. All right, yep, so that's it. So get one of those, but in the shade for birthday, in a genre of a birthday card, right, sorted. So yeah, yeah, fabulous, fabulous. All right, so that's what I'll do. Okay. So yeah, that's what I was doing today. So that's why I didn't get yeah, happy birthday. I don't know who's next on the birthday. Yep, yeah, talking of birthdays, do me a favour. Can you? <laughs> I could be really horrible with my secretary name. Good. I'm pleased, Jay. Yeah, you keep winning, Janet. <laughs> right um let me know your birthdays will you please my darlings my chat away chatters I need to know your birthdays not in here not here not on this wall i mean it not on this wall <sighs> throw it in the group let me know your birthdays um if you would please thank you very much because i like to know people's birthdays because i'm a nosy man yeah. I really could do with something to eat, you know. I most certainly could. Um, yeah. So, um, birthdays, please. Ah, uh, you see, yeah, this is what I'm saying. I could really be over to my secretary here, couldn't I? Should be over to the Yeah. Tell you what, let my secretary know by a PM. <laughs> nice one, Jay. Ellie, blame, blame Jay on this one. I like Jay a lot and I haven't met her yet, but I really, really like Jay a lot. I'm determined to go and uh, sit in the car at the top of Jay's drive soon. I am. Because Jay only lives, uh, I think it's one or two villages along from me. And I'm determined. Uh, 
Ellie Sykes, look, she's even saying, we jelly. And she's going, me, hun. <laughs> oh. I know. It's going to be so funny, Oliver. I think we all, all used to just sort of mass PM. Oh, how many of you, I know Oliver did, but how many others of you, of you have been on my wall today, sort of in the last hour or so? Did you see that cat? Oh, I so need that cat in my life. It is absolutely stunning. My grandson sent me the picture. Yeah, no, you need to remind me about a week before, please, Secretary. Thank you very much, PA. Pa. Oh, wasn't it, Case? Isn't that just gorgeous? I so need one of them in my life. <laughs> yeah, it's not far, is it, Janet? So, yeah, I so need one of them cats in my life. It was absolutely, it's, it's, the cat actually looks like a mini husky. The facial, oh, beautiful. But it's a cat. Oh, I just, I just, I just need one. Just need one. I oh, know. Cares, couldn't you? Just absolutely die for. Absolutely die for it. Really good. Beautiful. So, yeah, what can I say? Must admit, there's certain things I do love in life, and animals are one of them. Absolutely love animals. At one point, when we lived in the house down in Hobby Churn, when Jude and I were both working, and I wasn't in this stupid bloody thing that I'm in now, um, I think we had seven cats, Ellie. Something like that. And we had two German Shepherds. And we had Dagoos. I think we also had gerbils or hamsters as well at the time. Um, don't think we had the rabbit then. And chickens. We had expatriate hens. Oh, menagerie to say the least. Yeah, we do as well, Tina. And now we're down to one dog and one cat. And you've seen both of them. And the dog's asleep on the settee. She's got a whole settee to herself. She's terrible. Juice in my chair. So, yeah, because the lounge's got a... It's only a small bungalow. A little two-bedroom bungalow. But it's absolutely ideal for us. Four. I say four because it's Jude, myself and Taffy and um, Grace. So, yeah, it's just the four of us. So, but it's nice. It's... We're here to stay. This is going to be our last move now. We're not moving again. Unless we do the uh, win the lottery and, uh, oh, we don't do it. <laughs> so we're here to stay. Unless, of course, Janet wins the lottery and she's going to, you know, sort of say, are you, Janet? I oh, know. I oh, know. Oh, I remember Kai. I remember Kai very, very well. Love that dog. It was beautiful. Soft as they come was that Kai. Yeah, so we actually believe, Ellie, that Grace, we actually think, is a is Kim and Sol's great-great-granddaughter. Really, Kez? No, you've beat me, Kez. You've beat me hands down, sweet. We never had 34 check-ins. I think the most we had at any one time was seven, possibly eight. And one had to have a cut-up. She did. Kipper had to have a cut-up. Yeah, we named our chickens. Oh, some good you are. Eleven dogs, Janet. Oh, Janet, I love you even more. No, I don't do snakes. No, I don't do snakes. Oh, well, you got a... Oh, see, I love that name, Poppy. At Waplo Drove, really? You're in Waplo Drove? Wow. Talk about a small world. You're weird. How small this world really is. Really, I mean, you just don't realise just how small the world really is, do you, until you start talking. I mean, now Kez is up in Blackpool. Um, Ellie was down in... You were in Wapload, weren't you, Ellie? Oliver. 
Ellie, Ara, As, Ellie Sykes. That was before Thorny. Ellie Sykes was in Sutton Bridge. I was in Hobbit Hurt. Um, let me think who else. Um, so we've got Oliver was in Wapload. Our Kez was Thorny. Prior to that, she was in Wapload Drove. I was in Hobbit Hurt. Ellie Sykes was in Sutton Bridge. Wow. Well, how weird. <gasps> what a great name, Sabre, for a cat. Love the name Sabre, Amanda. Like Lulu as well, but Sabre's a really good name. We've got Janet Knowles, who's in Nubra. Jay, who's in... Do you mind me saying where you are, Jay, before I announce it? Well, she's only a couple of villages away from me now, and you know where I am, near Beatsborough. So it really is such a small world. Amanda's in a very posh part of the country, darlings. Amanda, look, Amanda's in Surrey working. Well, she was in Leicestershire, and I mean, that's sort of, yeah, you know, we all know what Leicestershire is like. <laughs> all right, um, AJ is in Thorny. But it just goes to prove how small a world it is, doesn't it? Although, we've got somebody new coming in the group. Um, her name's Julie or Juliet? Julie, I think. And she's in Greece. Well, I th she was in Greece. I th I th do you know whether she's in Greece or was in Greece? And is now in London. No, she's in Greece. Um, and she's a friend of a friend. I'm not saying a word, Janet. Not a word. So, yeah. Oh, Oliver, and you admit that? Oh, I'm not answering that, Janet, on the grounds that my lawyer is not present. Did you, Jay? Oh, you'll get on well with her. She's a mad crafter by all accounts. She put a thing up um, in the group saying about how she liked the card that I'd done for Chrissy. Well, it was her card that I made. She had a trace card. The A47, I agree totally. <laughs> really? <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, Ellie, please don't shout about that, love. I was hoping not to tell everybody about that, about Margaret Harbour, darling, and Kerry. You don't, you don't want to brag about that, sweet. It's like I don't tell everybody where I'm from, remember? I missed out the first bit, just say, oh, I'm a Chelsea girl. <laughs> remember? <laughs> With that, I'm going to slurp. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, I could have some fun. Oh, and Amanda, you are so, and Amanda, I'm telling you now, she's a bad influence, ladies. Really, Jane? Oh, yeah, Jane and I have had this conversation. Yeah, I'm a Chelsea girl. I was on the Fulham Road in Chelsea, South West 3. Yep, around the hospitals. I had the old Brompton opposite me, the Royal Marsden next door to me. Well, the old Brompton was slightly opposite. He's about the next block down. Because right opposite me, I had the cancer research opposite me. Um, I had Sloan Street opposite slightly, literally, if I looked out my window, it was the cat. I looked into the labs of the cancer research hospital. Well, labs. And then on the corner was Sloan Street going up onto the King's Road. And at the top there was the um, theatre where um, it ran for years, was the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah, that's where I lived. And I used to be uh, 96A, Fulham Road, Chelsea. Then tell him to shut up. 
first tell him shut up. He was over in the other day. Bloody cheek. What's he like at all? Yep. Yeah. I haven't been to Devon for I don't know how many years. Can't say I blame you, Tina. Can't say I blame you at all, sweet. Really can't. So, yeah. Oh, Ellie, you really are so lucky, my darling. So, so lucky, my lovely. But, yeah. But we're happy here, I'll be honest. I haven't been this happy in a long, long time. Um, it's a nice side of Crowland. It's a very quiet road, very quiet. It's like in a little cul-de-sac type thing. Well, it's not cul-de-sac per se. Um, it's an end road. It's a tip. Come on, what they're called. My head's gone. Well, you can't get out. Um, no through road. So, yeah. And there's only a few council bungalows and they're all detached. And the rest of them, there's no houses down here, and the rest of them are all um, private bungalows. Tins girl, I'll take my fan fan. Oh, wow. So, yeah, it's really, really nice here. It's nice and quiet, and there's no reason for vehicles to come down here unless they're visiting family and sort of thing. So that's really good. Family and friends. That's good. That is good. Well, we started off in um, Sutton Edmonds. We moved from, uh, where did we move from? Stamford, no. Where did I move from? Yeah, Stamford, Middlesex. It was a bit of fun. had a few visits to Westwood Home. Delicious. Oh, I see, I like this. I really do like this. All this chattering and chin wagging. That's the whole point of this, isn't it? It's to all just have a good old chin wag. I think it's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. And I've got nothing to show you today. I haven't, like I say, I've been. Oh, I have got a new dye. Do you want to see my new dye? Last just sent it to me from uh, the States. It's so cute. Came last week. Can't wait to use it. Are you ready? Do you want to have a guess what it is? No, I've already given you a clue because I've said it's so cute. So come on, have a guess what it is. If I've said it's so cute, there's a clue. Think about it. What could it be? Oh, come on. Come on, slow pokes. Come on, what could it be? Ah, Atkins is on the ball. Look at that. How cute is that? That is just so sweet. Isn't that just the sweetest? I can't wait to use it. I just think she's so sweet. Look, she's so sweet. Can't wait to use it. There you go. Well shoved. No, can't have it, kids. Back in your box. I might cut you some out, though. If you're a really good girl. Might. So, yeah. I'm actually going to do um, a thing. And I found... I was sorting out through my um, stuff. And I found a topper I've made, I don't know how long ago. So, some, I'm going to finish off and turn it into a card. And I'm going to send it to one of you. I'm going to put your name in a hat. And I'm going to send it to one of you. Do you want to see it? You're going to see it anyway. Even if you don't want to see it, you're going to see it. Because I feel like it. Look. I made that. I don't know how many years ago I made that. So I'm going to finish that off and turn it into a card and send it to one of you. In Boston, cut just did you? Aren't <laughs> oh, they just gorgeous? Which ones did you order? Hello. Yeah, it's quite sweet, isn't it? Just a piece of embossed card with a cutout and a stamp on it. That's it. 
I'm terrible, mate. I said, if you behave yourself, Kez, I might cut you some out. Only if you behave yourself. Fairies in a butterfly, I can't blame you. Um, Kez. No, before we go on to Kez, I want to get back to Amanda, please. Amanda, you're a bad influence on me. Would everybody else like to know why Amanda's a bad influence? She, 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 she made me. She made me join groups. Fabric groups. She did. Some of the fabric in them groups. I'm telling you now, stunning. And to say I've now got fabric envy. She did. Ellie, I'm telling you now. Secretary Ellie, I'm telling you now. Fabric envy. Wow. She did. Terrible. She, she's a bad influence, there, Amanda. Fabric envy all over the place, mate. Yeah, you need to throw kisses out. I'm telling you now, madam. <gasps> Some of that fabric, those to die for. I'm telling. Oh, beautiful fabrics, beautiful. If I had the place that I could cut patterns out on, mate, I'd be buying it left, right, and centre, and I'd be making stuff left, right, and centre. Right now, in fact, I might. Yeah. That, right, Amanda, that's your job for today. Invite Ellie Sykes to them. Right now, on to case. See, you're all getting told off today. Could always tell when I've had tramadol. I tell people I've never had tramadol or oh, extra tramadol. Anyway, Kez, okay, your turn. Are you ready? What fabric shop in Old Beach? I didn't know there was a fabric shop in Old Beach. I haven't been to Old Beach for years. You having a builder? What are you getting built? Jay, you and I need to talk. Stay safe, my darling. Speak to you soon. I love. Case, no, you're not buying any more stuff, Case. You stop it. Case, you're bad, you are. Stay safe, Jay. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, darling. Right, Kez. You and I need to talk. Right. Secretary, friends with Amanda, please. Yeah, you know why you're going to get told off, don't you? I shall say two syllables. Five D. That's all I shall say. Five D. No, you know. Oh, really? Excuse me, my Tell them to ring after four, Jude. Ring after four. Sorry about that. How can you say it's my fault? It's your fault. It's totally your fault. <laughs> it's told him I'm in the toilet. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. <sighs> yeah, I'll give you up, sorry. I'll give you up, sorry. Now I keep looking on eBay. <sighs> and AliExpress. You're such a bad influence. I haven't ordered any, though. I'll be honest. Nah. To send birthday to say, Ellie, we need to be FB friends, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Just friend that. See, now what I would suggest to everybody, you know that you're in the group, you go down <laughs> in the group members and you go, friend, 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 I would. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Send your friends with everybody in the group. That way you make new friends, which is what we're all about, making new friends. And you start declining, you think, hmm, I smell. But I have a shower. <laughs> Oh, don't. Oh, don't. So, yeah. Mm. So, between 
Amanda and her fabric and Kez and her 5D and me and my papers. Right, Kez, I can help you out. Just send him my way, babe. Seriously, just my way. Sorted. Hope he won't kill you. Say, so, I had to order this lot, darling, because Tracy was in need. I needed to help a friend out. Look at, oh, that's all right, babe, not a problem. But you say, what? Well, I'm keeping him here to help Tracy. Oh, that's all right, look, because I know how much she's helped you. You saw it then, Kez. See how good a friend I am to you? I just helped you out there, Kez. Same with you, Amanda. I had to order this signing because Tracy needed me to order it for her. So her husband didn't find it. So I'm keeping it here till I can get it up to Tracy. And that's all it is. And so I'm going, oh, that's so good of you, Amanda, to think of Tracy that way. I understand now why you've ordered it. Yeah, we'll put it in the room. That's not a problem. See, I've helped you both out. See? Uh, Ollie, get in line. I know I'll call you Ollie because you always want more, but get in line behind me. <laughs> See how good I am to you guys. I just that, all of you. Cause this is what you all say if you've got partners. All right. Well, actually, love, Tracy needed to hide it from her husband, so I've ordered it for her. We're keeping it here until I can get it to Tracy. And then Tracy says to her husband, well, so-and-so's donated it to, to me for her giveaways. And that's how she gets it then. So that's why it's come to me, because I'm then sending it on to Tracy's. That's how we do it. All right. There you go. Just don't let them see this video. <laughs> Otherwise, you're screwed. <laughs> how could I lie to you girls? Slurp time. <laughs> Gosh, I am good. Oh, yeah, you don't let me see the bank statements either. Yeah. Yeah, but you just say exactly what I just told you to, really. Just don't let Tina read this. Just don't let Tina see this. Oh, no, Tina's already in Yeah, that's point. Yeah. I'll send you a message, Ali. Ali, can you do sounds home for me, please, darling, as you are my secretary? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell, tell you what. Makes you wonder if Amanda's already done this, doesn't it? No, 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 we'll just go with it. Ellie, we'll just go with Amanda's suggestion. <laughs> Darling, there's people walking past. Yeah, mine's the same case. Brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. He's only just worked out how to work a smartphone. So I'm absolutely sussed, I am. Yeah, but you're so quiet, Tina. You're so lovely and quiet. You ain't going to snitch on her, are you, Tina? Because she's lovely, aren't you, Tina? What happened, Janet? Well, I don't know, because you won again, Janet. So what I did, <coughs> I went from Facebook, and as you saw yesterday, I put it straight up, and then I just went from the shares there, and there was nine of you, and I hadn't done the random because... I was concerned about Amanda not sharing. As it turned out, and I told Amanda off, as it turned out, I was in the r -r 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 that word. Yeah, because I don't like that word, because I've never, r -r 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 yeah, I'm never that one. Anyway, as it, I, I was today.
So I apologised profusely to Amanda, and she was still in it anyway. And as it turned out, if you look at when you sort of have a look, if you do have a look, because it's at the very beginning, uh, Amanda was number seven, and number six won. And you won it again. So you won the papers. So yeah, you were the winner of today of the um, Rachel Hale paper stack, six by sixes. <laughs> so yeah it's all right now i know that amanda's actually sharing i just didn't realize she was sharing she'll be going in the drawers every day now but her name's bound to come up you never know she might win tomorrow's the birthday birthday card which she'll have more enjoyment out of because she's got that much stuff in her bloody room if she was to look for it. How are you, darling? How are you, darling? You got that much stuff in your room? She actually made a entrance to her room. No, are they that bad, are they? That's very nice of you, though, Janet. Very thoughtful. See, that's what I like about you. You're all thoughtful. It's lovely. You really and truly are. Every single one of you are very, very thoughtful. I'm proud to know you all, genuinely. Very proud to know you all. So, I'll share from wherever you like. <laughs> You're lost. I'm lost. We're all lost. No, what I'm going to do is I'll put this straight onto as soon as I can onto Facebook and then share from Facebook. It's a lot easier for everybody then. Okay. All right. That way then you don't have to come back here and try and find it. I'll put it on my wall on Facebook and then you guys can share it straight from there, darling. Okay. No, Janet, that is so thoughtful of you. It really is, darling. Like I said, we'll, we'll try it for the next couple of days, see how it works. Yesterday it seemed to work well. Like I say, there was nine of you in the pot, which is great. It's a great number. Um, we didn't have any newbies. Corin came in on it, but I think that was because it was Rachel Hale. Wow. Amanda, you've been really busy then, babe. So now how much material you had in there. So you've been ultra busy. Please take it steady. Don't wear yourself out, darling. All, all joking aside, please don't wear yourself out. Because I know how much work is involved in doing your room, sweetheart. So please, please, seriously now, don't wear yourself out, darling, because it'll only put you on your backside for a few days otherwise. So take it steady. Remember to rest up, seriously. All right? I know, but that's not the point. I don't want to overdo it. Oh, okay. Fair enough. But you know why I'm concerned. All right. Okay, thank you. I know it sounds like I'm being an old mayor. I don't know, whatever. But I don't want to, I don't want people to be ill. Yeah, well, that's good for you, Tina. <laughs> wish I could walk around it once. No, I don't. It'll kill me. No, I do, actually. I wish I could walk around it once, let alone five times. Be away if... I know I'm not. Ellie, will those jeans fit you? I should imagine, actually, they're too big for you, thinking about it. You're not as big as me or anywhere near as big as me. It's a shame, actually. I really wish them jeans would fit one of you girls. I really do, because they're only going to go in the bin. 
and it's such a shame because one of them's so nice. One of them's even got like as if they've been. Uh... No, no, they're still too big for you, babe. One's a twenty-six, and one's a. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. They're really nice. I think they're really nice ones. They're twenty-six. But it looks like the they've been worn and like the the not tears per se. Oh, if that's the case, then you can have them. Because they're really I mean they've got tags on. And they've come from the shop yours. They're not the Cheap and nasty ones, they're really, really nice ones. Never been, like I said, they've got tags on. <laughs> I like that, my mind's fit, but my body's knackered. I so agree with you, Amanda. Yeah, they are really good quality, Jane. Um, I've also got the pajamas, but they're a size 24, 28. Um, and the pyjamas are from Simply Be. So, again, they're really good quality. And they're still in their packaging. They haven't even been pulled out of the packaging. I don't want anything for these clothes, guys. Right, the pyjamas, Amanda, though. You wear kaftans. Will you wear pyjamas? Because if you wear pyjamas, you're welcome to have these bloody things. I've also got a brand new pair of, I think they're like burgundy colour trousers. Again, brand spanking new. No, they've never been on my body. I swear to you now. They'll be a size 24, 26. I'd rather get, give them to friends rather than sell them, seriously. I'd rather somebody I know. I know you're not sweet. I know you're not. Right, Jane, do you need any new clothes? If so, I'll send them up to you, sweetheart. If you don't mind have it, I mean, I, I call them secondhand, but they're not because they're all brand new. But if you don't mind having secondhand clothes, but the brand new second hand clothes then I'll send them up to you it's not a brought down to you it's not a problem say yay or nay oh Amanda I'm going to slap you in a minute in fact no you slapped right Amanda I know you look after Ellie Tina your daft apeth. What's she like? I'm going to have to... Right, Tina. You're slapped. Oh, it's a slapping day today, you think? Right. Now I know. Could have told me an hour ago. I'd have got all the slapping out, and, out of the way in the beginning. See, I look... Well, you know about my bargains. <laughs> Too quits. <laughs> no, this, this was a simply be. Sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty. I can't remember the last time I was in a size sixteen. I really can't. I mean, when Jude and I got together and I was working, I think that Ellie, I think then I was a size twenty-two. Was I else? I think then I was about size twenty-two, wasn't I, when I was working? And now I've got up to like, I'll be honest, I'm big. Yeah, it was a good cashmere jumper. I'm so pleased with that. And I love my and I love my cardigans. <gasps> I'm cardigan mad. Well. Was I about a twenty? Yeah. <laughs> I like that, Oliver. <laughs> I reckon I missed it. I think I was a size 16 at 16. When I was 16, I was a size 16. Do you know what I mean? I was the biggest girl in my school, and I went to an old girls' school. How bad is that? So, yeah, I understand that. I really do. 
John, I love the. Do you know, I actually look forward to these chats. I don't know about you guys, but I actually do. And this we're supposed to be talking about uh, crafting, and this we are talking about bloody clothes. Some good we are, some good I am. Good job I didn't call it the crafty chat today, innit? Oh, I do apologise. So, and I haven't shown you any crafty stuff, so again, I do apologise. Oh, yeah, you were, weren't you? I oh, know, Janet. I'm, what can I say? You just love our company, darling. You just love our company. Do you, Tina? I'm never so pleased, babe. I know I do. Me and you get she says to me, are you going live then? Yeah. All right then. So what are you doing? Oh, I'll start. I'll, I'll, I'll stay around in case you need me. Thank you, Oliver. Yeah, I'll go from Simply B. It was in the sale, mind you. I'll be honest. It was uh, <clears throat> cheap and cheerful. I think this was like four quid instead of 26 or 28 quid. I only ever buy in the sale. Yeah, yeah, this is true. You saw a hedgehog, yeah, and the card. Yeah, this, yeah so we did do a bit cracking. <laughs> oh, Kiz, don't you dare put any weight on, babe. Yeah, no, I'm showing the cards. Yeah, this is true. Don't you dare put any weight on, Kiz. Do you know my leg is a, is your size? That's that's a scary bit, isn't it? Because the lymphedema. My leg is the size of Kiz. Kiz is waist. Yeah, not speaking to kids. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. See, my problem is as well, I've always loved my food anyway, so I've always been big. But then with the lymphedema and then the medication and then ending up in the chair, that was just the nail in the coffin the chair was. Because um, at least when I was, I called it sticking it, when I was able to walk with sticks, at least I was still walking around, so I was still exercising to a certain extent. Yeah, I do. But I can't use water tablets because I can't get to the toilet quick enough because of being in the chair. So, of course, if I take the water tablets, you all know what happens. I don't need to explain it in full. Um, and it's not nice and it's extremely embarrassing. And, uh, yeah, exactly. Believe it or not, Janet, I had all my lymph nodes removed from under both armpits, um, which is why I tend not to lift my arms up when I've got um, what they're called, strap, uh, strappy tops on. That's why I won't lift my arms up, because the state of under my arm, absolutely disgusting uh, because of the mess they made. Um, same reason. Um, because I had a scare, horrible thing, many, many years, well, not many years ago, well, yeah, I suppose it is now, it's about 16, was it 16, 17 years ago, Ella? It's got to be going on for that, hasn't it, babe? And, uh, but the mess they made under my arms is absolutely disgusting, and then I ended up getting lymphedema and lipedema in my legs, and that's what put me in the chair about two and a half years ago. Um, I mean, I had the lymphedema before that, obviously. And then, um, of course, as soon as I hit the chair, congrats, sweet. I'm really pleased that you did beat it. Really, really pleased. The last week, we don't know who's done now. So, if you're under active thyroid, and no way for Dean's day, and I love my food. See, I love my food. Yeah, with the uh, intracranial hypertension, the benign intracranial hypertension. Um, and needless to say, it's not being able to move around at all now. I mean, I can't, I struggle to get from chair to bed or chair to chair or chair to toilet and it's it's not it's not, it's there's no fun it really isn't it's um as much as i try not to eat the shit stuff 
sorry, excuse me, uh, the bad stuff. I still do because I still like the odd slice of cake. I like the odd piece of chocolate. Now, I'll be honest, Ellie sent me, how long ago was it you sent me that chocolate else? Yeah, I do. Um, what was it, three weeks ago, four weeks ago? I finished it off this morning. So, you know, it's not as if I sit here and just eat a whole bar in a day. You know, it takes a while. Um, that's where there's originals. I've still got one left. Do you know what I mean? I don't sit here and just eat for the sake of eating. People assume I do. Um, like at night time, I'm still up at 1, 2 in the morning. I finish eating at half 5. I don't eat again till the following day. Sometimes I might get the munchies and I might have, um, I don't know, some crisps. No, no. Five or six uh, cream crackers with just butter on it, nothing else. I know. Yeah, I can't exercise the way, the way it is difficult to move. But at the end of the day, it's um, it's easy to eat the wrong foods. Because they're the good foods that we enjoy eating. <laughs> I know, Judy, we're talking naughty stuff. We're talking cakes. <laughs> so Judy's a bad influence. Ju Judy's a bad influence on me for cakes. Because Judy's the one who phones me up and says, I want to go for a cake of coffee. Oh, Judy. Well, now you mention it. <laughs> See? Now she's going to act all innocent. Be warned. Our Judy's going to act all innocent. She'll go, oh, I don't do that. But then ask her, when was the last time you and Tracy met up? Actually met up, not just popped around, but actually met up. And did you or did you not meet up at Bay Trees for coffee and cake? Ah, uh, see? Look, 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 look. Yeah. And the time before that, did you not meet up at Van Haag for coffee and cake? Oh, oh I guess I love kiss dumplings. Uh, Judy, you're not answering me. Judy, Judy, Judy. Am I telling porcupines? <laughs> I love cake too. Big meaning to make Victoria sponge for the last week. I still haven't made it. I really ought to. Do you know what I fancy? I know it sounds really daft. Do you remember good old-fashioned jelly and ice cream? I haven't had it for, I don't know how many years. But what if, I think it was our Oliver, made a trifle. Yes, see, Judy, Beatrice, but prior to that, Judy, did we or did we not meet up at Van Haag and a coffee and cake? So I around 15 or two, I'm miscarried. Oh, bless you, babe. It was me, yummy trifle. See, I knew it was you. I had a feeling it was you. Okay, why well, have I got a bloody fly in the room? I don't mind flies in the room. don't mind flies. It's just this window's up. Need to get a driver to do that ride. Anyway, yeah, because of your, tri your trifle, I've been fancying jelly and ice cream. Just good old-fashioned jelly and ice cream. I've got neither in. Isn't that always the case? Have you noticed? Whenever you fancy something, you haven't got it in. Really? I've just really gone off case. You now that box I was sending you case. It's going elsewhere. <laughs> Judy, don't forget you've still got your mystery prize to pick up. Oh, and by the way, guess who won yesterday's? Have a guess. It wasn't you and it wasn't Jay, but guess who else did? Yeah, you got it. <gasps> Carnation milk. 
that's the way to go. You're right. It's carnation milk. <gasps> Jelly and carnation milk. It's all fat yogurt recipes. Really? Never heard of that. <gasps> carnation milk. Oh, now I want it with carnation milk. Forget the ice cream. Jelly and carnation. Oh, Amanda, how evil can you be? Oh, really, Tina? I'm not speaking to Tina either. Jelly and carnation milk. <gasps> have a guess. Judy, have a guess. It wasn't you. It wasn't Jay. So have a guess who it was. Oh, really, Ellie? Right. Mm. Come on, Judy. It wasn't you and it wasn't Jay. Who else could it be? Starts with a J. How did you guess, Jude? Uh, Judy, how did you guess? If I didn't know any better, I'd say it was fixed. It's not, but I would. They actually saw the proof. <gasps> Strawberry and ice cream. No. No. Okay, oh, you've got to have it carnation. It is the bomb. <sighs> all right, sweet. I'm here all day. <laughs> Funnily enough, I don't go anywhere. Ba boom Right, but I am going now. Because we've been here an hour and ten minutes. <laughs> So, I'm going to go and cry in a corner. <gasps> Do you remember you used to get that mixed fruit in the team? Jude loves the condensed cream, Amanda. It does, doesn't it, Oliver? Are you, oh, are you? Oh, Janet, would you pick up Judy's for her then, please, if you wouldn't mind? Fruit cocktail, that was it, Ellie. I oh, know, I used to use the condensed, was it the condensed cream? Or was it, yeah, it was the condensed cream to do the banoffee pie. Do you remember, Ellie Sykes, that I used to make the banoffee pies? You want to see the I, spreads I used to put on, was unbelievable. But yeah, I used to make banoffee pie with the condensed cream in the tin. I used to boil it, I think, for about four hours on the simmer. Oh no, guys! <laughs> Fruit cocktail with the vat milk. <gasps> oh, and do you remember the oranges? Oh, is it? Oh, I didn't realise. Sorry, Judy. Do you remember the oranges though? <gasps> Strawberry blanc was my favourite. We did, didn't we? We used to have some good meals then. But then again, we were all working. Because your mat used to do the tyres, didn't they? Jude was working at... I can't remember where he was working. But I was working... Yeah, we used to have Blumange. Really? Yeah, I agree, Tilly. We do have to eat. Well, I can't believe you've got three tins of cocktail in your cupboard. Okay, so I think you're banging out of order. That's just being greedy. But yeah. Oh, it's all good fun, though, isn't it? Do you remember tapioca pudding over at school? Frog Do you remember it? Winchester, yeah, and Jude and I were the taxi drivers, that's it. Yep. Wow. Those were the days. But we had tapioca and semolina at school. Fluffy jelly, yep. How weird is this? Talk about memories. Absolute good memories. Do you know I loved them both, Oliver? I absolutely loved them both. 
even now to this day. And you know you can get instant semolina in the packets. Love semolina. Love semolina. And that's that juke cart stand stuff. I love it. I do. And I love rice pudding. Oh, homemade rice pudding with either cinnamon or nutmeg. Mm -mm -mm. Delish. See, it's all the wrong stuff that I like. That's what I'm saying. Lettuce leaves. No. Don't get this size on just lettuce leaves. Hell no. Oh, yeah. Can't beat it. Cannot beat it. See, this is this is when you were brought up on proper food. Jamming the yeah. Yep, I'm with you there all the way, Jane. Had to be strawberry jam for me. I didn't like the raspberry jam so much. I didn't like all the pips. Yep, I'm with you there, Ellie. Do you remember, was it Sniff? Cynthia used to make the best rice pudding ever. That's one thing Sniff could do, was make a really, really good rice pudding. So, yeah. So, yeah. Right, okay, listen. On that note, I'm definitely going. Yep, rice pudding with that milk. Can't beat it. So, right, ladies, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for taking me down memory lane. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, I enjoyed delight. See, we're still going there. Yep, Sniff did. She was absolutely... See, there's another name, Sniff. <laughs> You're right, Janice. <laughs> Does it? Excellent. See, I do. That's why Jude married me. With a meringue on top. Wow. Never thought of that. See, I like casseroles with dumpling mix on top. So I've got a little dumper roll. No, I'm not in love with the butterscotch. See, again, I like the strawberry. Oh, the strawberry angel delight. Oh, hello. My son adores the stuff I used to. Like I say, it's 31 this year. Oh. We had a really nice salad yesterday. <laughs> right, like I said, thank you very much for taking me down memory lane. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yep. Thank you, that's what I want it for. Right, ladies. Please, please, please. Stay safe. Otherwise you've got me to deal with. But memory lane. <laughs> Sorry, Janet. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves, enjoy the rest of your day, and please, please, please stay safe. Because I want you all here in two weeks and four weeks and six weeks' time. All right. Take it steady, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Behave yourselves. Bye. <laughs> see ya.